So, woke up in the woods again last night, which isn't a bad thing. Woke up at uh, Grand Lake Stream, Maine, which is super exciting. And I'm here because I'm taking the next step on my fly fishing journey. I'm here to take out my fly fishing rod for the very first time. And this is something that I've been looking forward to for over 15 years. And thanks to Maine Fly Fishing Company, I've got a rod and reel. I'm gonna hang out with my buddy Jesse from Mainly Outdoors, and he's gonna give me some tips and tricks. So hopefully, I can land my first fish on a fly rod right here today. So let's go do it, guys. What are we fishing for today? We're gonna to be going for some landlocked salmon and probably some brook trout. We might even get a togue, which would be extremely Ooh. lucky. Yeah, not the best time of year for it, but. Might be there. Might be there, you never know. So why are we here? Uh, so this is one of my favorite runs. I come here just because I think it's a really beautiful area. And the trout tend to hold up really shallow. So as long as the water temperature is still low enough, although it is getting higher this time of year, we'll check to make sure it's a safe temperature to fish for them. But they like to hang out right in this feeding lane. And there's really not many features and there's just fish scattered throughout it. Yep. So hopefully they're going to be there and hopefully we can convince a few to come up and uh, give our flies a look, see if we can't get Jeremy on his first fish here. Full disclosure, I already tested the water. I don't have the waders today, so I think it's going to be warm enough to make this work. So it should be, it should be very enjoyable all day. Watch the pudding. Are we going to go over my knees, you think? Ideally, set you up with some dry flies, but for now, midday, you know, sun's totally out. Fish tend to feed under the water, so. For starters, we're just gonna go with a simple indicator rig. I usually like to use one larger fly just to help get everything down there. So I like to use a stone fly, imitates helger mite, stone flies, you know big mayflies, pretty much anything. So it's a good pattern to get down there. And then last time I was here, this fly in particular was working really well. Just a simple hare's ear with a lime green body. We are out on the river, about to get stuff done. Jesse's gonna dial it in a little bit, check some stuff out and uh, just kind of see where the fish are hanging out. And then I'm gonna try to get some successful casts in, but just look at this place. This right here, what do you think? Doesn't get better than this. I like my beautiful battery pack, everyone. Let's just see this. See the uh, outside of this bubble scene. Okay. Yes. That's where we'll try to start. And we'll have you cast. How do I cast? Well, let's see where you are to start with, and we'll go from there. I don't even know. I where. haven't. So the idea is the fly line. So I'm trying to use the weight to whip, right? Not whip. <laughs> so the idea is traditional, conventional fishing. You have a weight that's gonna okay. propel your fly or your, mm -hmm. your whatever you're using forward. In this case, we need to get this thick line out there in order to do that. Nice, okay, now that was, see, that'll work. Traditionally 10 to two, but I think it's more, most people agree with 10 to one. So then when you think of that as a clock, if you're holding a rod up straight, that's 12. Yep. You're not moving it that far. Your hand really doesn't move at all. To get it to 10, it's maybe just, so that rotation. I guess I'm missing the analogy. And don't worry, yeah, perfect. A fish would bite that. Oh, oh! Fish on! Fish on, dude. Keep tension, keep tension. Uh oh. Keep tension. No, no, wrong way. Just pull in line, pull in line, pull in line. Yep, just like that. Pull. Oh, I lost it! Set, set, nice, nice. All right. Okay, tension, right? Yep, keep tension, that's perfect. Okay. Don't, don't bring in too much. Getting a little slack. All right, I'm gonna just net him. Now bring tip up, tip up, 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 up. There we go. Oh, look at that. All right. 
that was absolutely phenomenal to have my first fish on this fly rod be that guy right here jesse i can't thank you enough man now i'm hooked we still have a lot of time left in this day we're going to be camping out again tonight and then another epic fishing trip is coming up soon i'm hooked game ticks get ready here i come main fly co for the win So it's been an incredible day here on the river and uh, it's time to get back to camp. Well, there's a lot of fun things that are happening right now. We are heading from here and we're heading over to Weston, Maine. We're gonna do some more fly fishing. We're gonna gear up, hit in the truck and get out of here. Hey friends, find myself in Weston, Maine. So obviously I'm up top of the fire tower to enjoy the view of Katahdin. And the reason we're here today is to get out on East Grand Lake. Gonna try to fly fish from a boat for the first time. And I wanna bring you guys along because each stage of this adventure I wanna document and hopefully learn something new from someone much more experienced than myself and to be able to teach you and hopefully just have a really good time along the way. So tonight, I have the opportunity to cast into the sunset and we're gonna stay at Rideout's camp and just see what we can catch tonight and into the morning. But uh, I gotta get down from this tower and we gotta go get the boat in the water. And then we'll come up here, uh, this point, off this point is a pretty big bar, and that's usually the most productive place to fish. We were up on the West Branch the other day, and we caught 33 salmon. Well, welcome to beautiful East Grand Lake. Great fishing, and just great clean water, it's nice pristine, I think it's Maine's third largest lake. This is Maine's third largest uh, lake. Known for salmon fishing, uh, toad, big, big lake for ice fishing, uh, bass. Gentlemen at Idols there this past week caught 200 bass in one day. 200 he, bass in a day. Hands, he was sore from all the action. Oh my That's gosh. problem to have when you're fishing right here on East Grand Lake. I think we have a fish. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, come on. No! The thing is, there's a little bit of chop on top of the water, and I usually don't know what I'm looking for, and I get all excited because I see it through the wave, and it's a little one, but it's still there, and I'm like, I can cast to there. And I'm like, boom. I throw it, lands right on top, comes up, takes it, set the hook, and then I go too fast, and I ruin it again. So I went too slow, and I went too fast. I gotta find that sweet spot.
Okay, guys, so uh, it's getting dark. I probably don't need these anymore. Um, we're calling it. I caught my fish. I'm so, so grateful. Uh, Jesse and Dave, they were able to hook a couple more, and Albert and his wife were able to catch quite a few more, but I was able to get that one, and it was worth every single bit of effort, and I would go out and do it again, and I'm going to go out and do it again, and I'm going to get better, and I'm not going to be afraid to look like a fool, so come with me. Let's go fishing. Let's get better. But until next time, keep casting.